Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Ben. This is my wife, Dr. Amber. We're gonna go over a wall bug, which is a great exercise for anyone who needs or wants to prevent low back pain or get rid of low back pain or anybody who wants to have some more core stability in their life, whether that is for working around at home, working at the office, or any hobbies you wish to do, you can have a lot more efficiency in those hobbies with better core stability. To start us off with this exercise, there's three things I always tell people to remember. The first is you have to breathe. So your lips have to be relaxed during all of this. If you're holding your breath, you're only gonna ever be at 100% core stability, which is good if you're doing a max weight lift, but if you're trying to run 10 miles, you're not gonna make it very far. So you gotta learn how to have core stability while breathing. So lips have to be relaxed during this whole exercise. Step two, hands go on the wall over the head in a 90-90 position. And you have the hands planted on the wall. You want your fingers as wide as possible and as long as possible. When you start the exercise, you should not be able to pull the fingers off the wall. Basically what this does is it locks in your upper body so you don't cheat and try to use your upper body to stabilize your core. And the final thing is we bring the legs up into a 90-90 position. Once we're here, she'll tell you that she can feel her tailbone pushing into the table much more than her low back. All she has to do to start the exercise is breathe, press the fingers into the wall, and then push the low back into the table so that its pressure is equal with the tailbone. And very quickly, that engages all the muscles of the core all the way around, from the, pelvic, from the diaphragm to the pelvic floor, and every muscle of the abdominal wall. This is just a hold here. If you want to learn how to move your hips along with it, you just take a leg, keep it in the 90-90, and tap a heel as you come back up. Now, it's also important to remember you want to keep your feet narrow and your knees a little wider. This is going to put your hips in a more neutral position so that you don't overwork the hip flexors. And now this leg down and up. Don't lose this <laughs> and breathe down and up. Good. Very good. And you can see right here, if you get a little closer, you can see she's shaking a little bit. That's very good. She's still maintaining good control though. Good. You can go ahead and relax. That's the wall bug. If you have any questions, feel free to come in and see a doctor. We'll be gladly to answer all of them or check out any of our blogs that mention it. Thank you very much.